Hi lovely ear signs, welcome to Joy Energy Tarot, I'm Jenny. This is your weekly reading for July the 4th to the 10th and I hope it resonates with you. If it does, please push like, subscribe and notify. If it resonates with you, if it doesn't, that's okay, go and watch another lovely reader. If you've got a four in your uh, birth chart, you like to have everything organized and balanced. You like charts, I mean lists, and you feel secure um, when you're going through lists and not having total freedom. This goes through till the 10th. If you've got a 10 or a 1 in your um, birth chart, you are a free thinker. You are unique, you are very good at problem solving, but if things get you down, they can go round and round on your head and you overthink things and be can become quite de um, depressed. Okay, this week, uh, oh, I don't know how to feel, this has got some quite very uh, strong, strong messages this week and I hope you stick around because at the end I've got um, oracle messages here for Gemini, Libra and Aquarius and they're quite insightful from Tony Carmine Saluno, Mary Magdalene Oracle Cards. Now I've done all the shuffling and ask, asking so that the video is not too long. So we start off with the Wheel of Fortune. So everything is changing around you which is quite good because I can see you've been going through such a dark period. Um, so the Wheel of Fortune. So go with the wheel. Things are starting to change. Things are starting to look up. And I feel it's to do with your soulmate or people that you're very, very close to. For some of you, if you're in a relationship, things are going to start improving. For others of you, you might be meeting somebody who is a soulmate or somebody that you really, really gel with and that you can connect with. This leads on to the Justice card. So some of you have been dealing with um, some sort of uh, stressful situation. For some of you, it could be even a legal thing. So you'll have um, a legal outcome which will go in your favour. And I feel that it's going to bring about the ending of a terrible period that you've been going through. Lots of burdens and things like that. For others of you, um, you're going to get justice. What goes around comes around. You've got the Wheel of Fortune. Things are changing. The truth will be told. The truth is exposed. Um, or you're seeking the truth too. But you're going to get that balance. This is like a Libra card too. You're going to get that balance back into your life. Because I feel that a lot of you have been going through a really bad patch. And you've been floating around feeling quite foggy, not having any direction, um, you know, even depressed, stressed out, that sort of thing. But you're going to start coming out of that now. You can, your shining uh, light, your guardian angels, whoever you believe in, are looking after you and guiding you now to, <clears throat> to put down the roots and start um, feeling safe uh, and secure. It's like you're coming out of a dark period and into the light now. Things are improving because I feel that you've been dealing with some sort of terrible toxic situation. For some of you it can be drugs and alcohol. Um, it can be to do with pa a partner like that. Um, but it's underneath the um, wheel of fortune. So I feel that this uh, depressing or toxic sort of situation is starting to lift okay you're going to start overcoming that this can be a feeling too of being absolutely uh, trapped you know trapped by your circumstances trapped by mortgages trapped by toxic people that sort of thing and you, you've got it right next to the eight of swords and it's like you've got your angel wings but you're feeling absolutely trapped you want to fly free but you feel like you can't so this is a thinking card so change your thinking start planning start thinking of little things that you can do to bring yourself out of that period this um eight of swords is like stinking thinking and you're thinking that things are, are bad or that they're going to be like they were in the past and you can't escape and you're feeling quite down but change that thought pattern start planning little trips little day trips or little trips away or looking at situations with hope and faith rather than doom and gloom because that burden that you've been carrying some of you've been carrying a terrible burden for 10 days 10 weeks 10 months 10 years this is the end of it. You've done all the hard work. You've, got, you've um, seen the harvest um, coming into fruition, if you want to put it that way. Those burdens are now over. This is definitely ending. And this is under the justice card as well. So that's coming to an end. For some of you, it's a bountiful harvest, but it's been so, it's been a, a, like a happy thing, but it's been very stressful as well. And now that's ending. Okay, that's coming to an end. And right next to it is, thank God for that, the dearest wish card. Because when these came out, I just thought, oh my God, you poor people. 
I just got that yuck feeling, but I do feel that it's ending, it's coming to an end, and things are go you're going to be able to see clearer. There's your six of swords coming out of the dark into the light, seeing the light moving forward. You've got the wheel of fortune. Oh, I'm getting all the shivers. So our lovely guardian angels and spirits and ancestors are with us. And so you've got those changes coming, and it's going to be your dearest wish. So something you've been wanting or wishing for is now about to happen. Now, you can't just sit there and expect it to happen. You have to tell your angels and guides, etc., who you believe in, what you really want, or write down your intentions on a piece of paper so that your guides know what you want, so they can help you and guide you and put the right people in your place when you need them. Okay, so I feel that this horrible sort of tied down, trapped feeling um, is about to lift. It's coming to an end in this coming week. But it's not this week, it'll be the next week. It's not very far off. Covering the whole reading is exciting. Like you're feeling overwhelmed. It's like there's too many emotions running around. You can't think properly. Um, you're trying to decide what to do. It doesn't matter what you do really because you will always be guided to be on the right path that you're meant to be on. But I understand that feeling of being your cups are full, your emotions are overflowing, you don't know which way to go. This is a card of telling you, this is what I pick up, stay focused on your dreams, work out what your dream is, what you what your first dream is, like write down a list, if you, especially if you've got that four in your chart, you know, make a list of your priorities, what do you want to happen first, and as each thing starts happening, cross them off, I've actually done that before for affirmations and intentions and then I've gone back a few weeks later or a month later, found the piece of paper and oh my god, they've all come true so just one thing at a time, just focus on one thing that you really want to happen, and then right next to it is the King of Cups, wonderful your emotions are calmer, this is where you've been going through a really rough period where your emotions are going up and down and up and down, but you're now feeling more stable more solid, you're ready for the next adventure, and you're once again tuning into your, into your intuition because when you do go through a rough patch unfortunately we forget about asking our angels and following our guides or looking for signs we get so wound up especially ear signs you live in your head a lot and you end up just overthinking everything this is a card of saying everything is a lot going to be a lot calmer and you'll be able to flow forward now on an even keel thank goodness that's wonderful plus you'll be feeling a lot stronger you're going into a, um there's a new opportunity coming up and it's going to be a blessing to you i feel it's going to help your whole situation it's going to be at the beginning of a new adventure new style of life or living just it's going to change your life so go for it and you are watched over by the star woohoo so having the star and the nine of the cup nine of cups this is amazing this is major arcana this is minor both of them are about wishes coming true dreams being um, fulfilled things like that so you've got two major 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 cards there for overcoming the darkness or, or letting go of those old things and you've definitely got the wheel of fortune so things are changing around you getting you out of that toxic situation okay that's exciting for you guys right gemini what do you need to know for the coming week oh you've got mother mary mother mary um mother mary okay beautiful art all done by Tony Carmine Salerno. He channels the messages and the artwork. Dearest one, I ask you to surrender the fear and anxiety you hold for a loved one's well-being. Trust, all will turn out for the highest God of all concerned. This current situation is simply part of your loved one's life experience and learning. A blessing eventually stems from this current event. Remember, at the heart of all creation, only love exists. Allow divine love to stir within your heart. Feel it move the earth and stars as the miracle of life forever unfolds. Have faith in the universal spirit of life and know that you and those dear to you are eternally protected. I shower your loved one with protective and healing light, so please do not worry, Gemini. That's really, really important. Okay, what a lovely message for you guys. And we've got the animal spirits. I love these. I only bought them recently. They're meant to be for children, but I think they're wonderful. You've got the elephant spirit, so you're very strong, you're very, very capable, and you're very, very wise. You can overcome any problem. Remember that. Okay, Gemini. Right, what have we got next? Ooh, but not much space. Libra. 
the Matrix. Ooh, the Matrix Libra. Right. <clears throat> Trying to figure out why certain things happen is like attempting to piece together a thousand piece jigs jigsaw puzzle while only having a few pieces of the puzzle in your possession. You cannot fully understand the present situation using the logic of your finite mind. Just know that a bigger picture exists even though it is not possible for you to see it at the moment. Um, at this time. Trust for all that is happening is an act of love. Ultimately you will discover the blessing. Have patience. You will look back on this period of your life and be thankful for all that is occurring now. And there's a little poem for you guys. Keep your pockets full of dreams, for life is a test of faith. Allow your light to shine, there is no beginning or end, there is only love. Okay, Libra, so just focus on that. And your animal spirit is Cougar. You can do it, okay? You can do it. Alright. And Aquarius, you have got Surrender. Okay, Aquarius. At present, it seems the harder you try, the more the things you want elude you. There's not much you can do at the moment except wait. Surrender your expectations and be patient. In time, you'll get what you want, though this may not come in the form or the way you expected. In the meantime, remember what you cannot control, that you cannot control how others view things or what they think, say or do. In time, you'll come to realise that the current events are a blessing. You will emerge from this period of your life with a newfound sense of clarity, which will enable you to move forward in your life with confidence. The emotional ups and downs you are currently experiencing will soon stabilise. Okay, Aquarius, that's a good, important message for you guys too. And you've got Coyote. Coyote, learn from your mistakes. Okay, learn from your mistakes. So that will resonate with some of you so that you can move forward. And finally, our lovely Louise Hay, the universal message for the week. I am at the centre of peace. I am at the centre of peace. It is safe for me to look within. Each time I look deeper into myself, I will find incredibly beautiful treasures within me. Isn't that lovely? Okay, guys, I hope you have a wonderful week, and I really hope that this helps you to keep strong and keep the faith and keep trust. So blessings to you all. See you all again. Ka kiri anō. Bye.